All right, guys, welcome back to Conqueror and Commander. We're going to be looking again at my Rakdos Lord of Riots deck. Um, for the pure deck, or for the uh, entire deck list, go to puremtgo.com and look up Conqueror and Commander. You'll see the deck list uh, laid out all nice and neat, so you can uh, take a look and see what you like about it. Today, we're going to be looking at this is basically a, a game to show you why you should not automatically concede to early Eldrazi. <laughs> as you will see. My opponents in this game are Maelstrom Wanderer, who is just a super broken commander. Well, I'm, he's not super broken, but he's about as close to broken as you can get. He's he's good. Double Cascade. And then, you know, if he gets killed, he just Cascade again. It's crazy. Uh, Jared, who loves his Lord of Extinction and other cre creatures that'll die and come back or whatever and be big. And then Lazov. Uh, who is better than I first thought. The Hexproof ability is nice, and uh, the Lazav decks I've seen have include at least some aspect of Mill. And the whole reason I added Eldrazi to this deck is because I got milled out by two different uh, Lazav decks. <laughs> so legend Legendary Eldrazi it is, just to make sure that never happens again. Uh, my opening hand has four lands, but one of them's Coffers and the other Stronghold. It's not the best. Um, but I do have Graveborn Muse. I end up <laughs> skipping past my second hand, which I sent back, which only had one land. And now my third hand has Acidic Soil, Blasphemous Act, does have Soul Ring, uh, and three lands. So instead of milling or mulliganing down to five, I decided to keep with um, this hand. Uh, I, I would go back and show you guys what my second hand was, but it's, but but it doesn't matter. It's it's a one lander. It had to go back. It's that simple. Uh, I draw another land, so uh, I decide it's not necessary to play a first turn soul ring that just scares people. A lot of times, uh, Jared is playing grave caller, crawler, which is good with another zombie. Lazav plays baleful Strix. Baleful Strix is actually a card that's pretty good. It uh, doesn't get enough play, I think. It draws a card. It has Death Touch. It's a nice little defensive creature. It's an artifact creature, so it's more susceptible to various removal. But who's going to spend removal on a little 1-1, one, one, right? Flame Rift. I'll play the Soul Ring and bounce my mountain. The Wanderer is going to play Sylvan Scrying to get a Command Tower. It's not Ramp, but it's going to help him out. Mulch. So Mulch puts... Mulch is a, a decent Jared card. It's going to give you another land and then put stuff in your graveyard. Frexian Delver. That's a nice little reanimator card. You don't see that played too much anymore. Uh, Hell's Caretaker is good. I really wish that there was a black-bordered version of Hell's Caretaker online, but there is not one. Uh, unless it's... I don't know. You can play for the fo the foil version, I guess. Um, Laza puts counters on his reef. I play another land. So next turn, or the turn after, Trinket Mage for Soul Ring for, from the Wanderer. Okay, there's a little bit of ramp. Plus Kessig Wolf Run, which is a nice little trampler, enabler right there. Um, not next turn, but the turn after, I should be able to cast Acidic Soil and bust out Rakdos. Or Flame Rift and bust, bust out Rakdos. Gravecaller comes after me. That's fine. Understandable. Another counter on the reef. Hey, look, Inferno Titan. He's fun. So I'm going to bust him out, and I'm going to kill a couple dudes and ding somebody. Oh, I, di I didn't kill Gravecaller. Probably because he was just going to come back anyways. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, I hit Jared and um, the Wanderer player for one each here. There's the Soul Ring. There's Oracle and Muldi hey, Capture of Jingzu. And two more lands. Bam, bam. So, yeah. We've got to worry about extra turns here now. That's fine. Whatever. And Expedition Map. So, all of a sudden, the Wanderer has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 mana available. And he'll probably get to 8 next turn. 
Jared plays four lands, and Dread returns a Frexian Delver to bring back Hell's Caretaker. Gravecaller comes after Laza. Laza Mystical Tutors for Damnation. Plays Temple of the False God and Damnations. That's nice. Okay, so now I've got the opportunity. Because <laughs> there is a Wanderer player, and uh, I know the player, but I haven't played against him in a while. So I'm not sure just how cutthroat he is, but he is playing with Time Walk effects. Uh, I have the ability to cast Yulamog right now. Everybody's tapped out. So I'm going to Acidic Soil. And that's going to knock a few people down. It's not going to hurt anybody real bad. But combined, it's going to be enough for me to play Rakdos and then Yulamog. And with Yulamog, what I should have done, probably, was blow up the Soul Ring, or maybe one of these other lands, like Kessig Wolf Run or something. Instead, I go after Expedition Map, because I feel a little bad about playing Yulamog, even though it's like turn 5 or 6 or something like that now. Um, basically, this makes the Lazav player upset, and he ends up quitting. Uh, he doesn't like the fact that, you know, draws he's being played. You know, that's fine. It's your prerogative. If you don't want to see it, you don't have to. Um, so, <laughs> the uh, Maelstrom Wanderer gets his 8th land, and he plays Wanderer. And my, I was like, okay, well, nobody's playing white here, so nobody's going to be able to source the Plowshares or Path to ex Exile him. But there is another card that anybody can play. It's not Crystal Shard. <laughs> it's his next Cascade, which is Duplicant. Duplicant comes out and takes away Yulamog. Uh So I'm kind of boned here because my hand is crap. And the 10-10 and the 7-5 both come after me. I probably should have blocked the 10 10 at this point, but my Blasphemous Act is going to cost a bunch. Um, and all it's going to do is he's going to be able to cast Wanderer again. Jared does Beacon Unrest uh, to get the Delver back, to get the Health Caretaker back. I get another land. I go after the Wanderer player. And then I'm going to be able to Blasphemous Act, because there's two more creatures on the board. My Ulamog's exiled, but the Wanderer is just going to come back out and beat me. Oh, Blatant Thievery, taking my Soul Ring. That hurts. And then Jared leaves. And I'm drawing more Slagstorm. Acidic so Slime's going to beat... Yeah, see, so... I'm basically toast. There's the capture of Jingzu. The Wanderer's going to come back out. He gets Consecrated Sphinx and Dismiss, which doesn't do anything. And I'm down to four, and I Flame Rift myself, because, I mean, that's just game. So anyways, that's just a... <laughs> yeah, it is possible to get a fairly quick Eldrazi out there, but that doesn't mean that you're going to win, and that doesn't mean you should concede right away. So might as well just see what happens. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks.